Hi all, in this video, we are going to see how we can launch our Cloud SQL instance. So Cloud SQL is fully managed relational database service provided by Google. Using Cloud SQL, we can launch MySQL, SQL Server or a PostgreSQL instance. So let's see how we can connect to the Cloud SQL and create instance using Cloud SQL and also we'll see how we can connect to database instance using a Cloud Shell as well as MySQL Workbench. So let's get started. I'll go to Cloud SQL service. So currently here is no instance created in my project. So I'll click on create instance to create a new instance. So here there are three options. One for MySQL, second PostgreSQL and a SQL server. So I'll go with MySQL. So it will give us a choice for version as well while we creating the instance. So I'll give the name as a MySQL demo. So here we can choose a password or we can generate password using generate option. So I'll create my password. So I'll choose my password and then I'll select the latest version for this demo and I will choose the region as a Mumbai region Asia South one for this demo I'll choose a single zone only and I'll specify the configuration and I will keep everything as a basic so I will keep its a lightweight only with one CPU and 3.75 GB of RAM storage I'll keep only a 10 GB with HDD so you can choose this configuration based on your requirement so to reduce the cost for this demo I'll be keeping a low configuration so I am enabling this checkbox enable automatic storage increase when my storage is beyond 10 GB, it will increase my storage automatically. Then here, I will create a public IP for my instance. I will checkbox on automatic backup. I will select that checkbox and I will choose a time between, let's say, supports. peak hours non peak hours i will choose the midnight window for a backup and rest i'll keep as it is and i'll create my instance so my instance is being created here you could see the instance is being created it will take a while to create the instance here you could see the status instance is being created okay our mysql instance is up and running now so we have public ip here Let's see the details of our instance. So we have public IP here. We have configurations, one CPU, 3.75 GB of memory, 10 GB of hard disk storage. Okay, let's see in connections. So here we have public IP and the network related details and connections. We'll see the users so here for now will be only the root users because we didn't create any user let's see the database so these are the default schemas available in any new instance and let's check in backups 
so it will take a initial backup on the instance creation and after that it will create a backup on schedule or we can create a backup on ad hoc basis so let's see now how we can connect to our mysql so first i'll try to connect using cloud shell so if you scroll down here is option to connect using a cloud shell so i'll open a cloud shell and i'll open it in a new window okay so i'll open it in new window Okay, so let's see how we can connect. So let me copy this command to connect to my instance. So this is the command gcloud sql connect mysql demo. This is our instance name. And we are trying to connect using a root user. So let's see how we can connect to our instance i'll press enter okay i'll authorize it it will ask me for a password okay let's see what is the error okay so here the there is error due to the cloud sql admin api is not enabled so let's go to the api to enable it so if you are connecting to your cloud sql for a first time you need to enable the api so let's enable api okay let me enable the api now and we'll connect once the api is enabled okay the api is enabled now let's try with the same command to connect okay so it's connecting now It will take a few minutes to connect for a first time. Okay, it will ask for a password. Now I'll type my password. I'll press enter and here we are connected. So we'll see if you command or like queries so i will type a show databases and here are about four databases so let me create a one database in our new instance and see if we can see that database so i'll go to database and i'll create a database so i will give the name as a demo underscore db let's create it okay so now go to cloud shell now i will check a databases okay now you could see the demo db database is here now i want to see if there are any tables inside a demo db so there won't be any table because we just created this db we'll see show tables so 
it's empty so no table created for now so we are not going to create any table for now first we will see how we can connect to this instance using a sql workbench now now we connected using the cloud shell i will open the mysql workbench now to connect to my newly created the mysql instance so let me open the workbench before going to workbench i'll create one user for a workbench so i don't want to use a root user you can use but i want to create a, another user so i'll click on add user and i'll add the name as a workbench hyphen user or i'll just give the simpler one as a db user okay and i'll create a password for this user and i'll add this user and i'll use this user to log in into my workbench so let's uh, open a workbench so this user is added let me open a workbench now okay so this is my sql workbench so here i have already one connection for my on-prem database so i'll create a new connection for a cloud sql so i'll give the name as a test connection and here i will be using a public ip for my cloud sql so let's go to cloud sql and get the public ip So here you will see the public IP address of your instance. I'll copy this and I'll use this to connect to my instance. The password I want to store in a vault and the user I want to use the DB user which we created just now. I'll give the password for DB users. I'll click on OK and first I will test connection. Okay, so I got the error now unable to connect to localhost. I got this error because my system's IP is not authorized to connect to my SQL instance. So let's see how we can authorize my system's IP to connect to SQL instance. So just go to chrome and type my public ip so here you would see what is the public ip of your system so i'll copy this ip and i'll go to configuration of my sql instance and i'll add this ip in authorized network so here you could see the authorized network and i'll add my ip here so i'll give the name as my local you can give any name and i'll paste this ip here so you can give a complete cidr range for subnet or any network you want to add so i'll click on done and I'll save this configuration. So it's saving my configuration. It will take a while to update the instance. So here you could see the instance is being updated and this may take a few minutes. Okay, so once this is done, we'll again try to connect to instance. So meanwhile, I'll go to mysql workbench and i'll try to test connection again so he you are you could see the connection is successful now and we are able to connect to mysql workbench okay so let me log in into my database now yes and here we are connected you could see this is the demo db 
which we created using our cloud console demo underscore DV so here we are connected to MySQL workbench using an authorized network. 